Okay, today we're in our mechatronics lab playing with the Festo hydraulic uh, bench here. And when I say playing, I literally mean playing. Um, I've got a power supply here that's giving me a target set point for this, uh, this mass hydraulic with, with the hydraulic cylinder. I got a set point of five volts. <coughs> Up here on the top is a PID controller. I don't know how much you can see, but the uh, this input here goes to the sensor on this hydraulic device. This input here is my set point of five volts. This is a proportional gain on the top, integral gain there, and derivative gain. And over here on our scope, I, you, we have the yellow line, which is the um, yellow line is. The output of my controller, the green line, is the actual position. And you can see the lag between uh, the phase difference there. So if, as I play with this, um, I can pressure doesn't do much, increasing the pressure, so I'm going to leave that down. But as I play with these gains, as I increase my integral gain, and right now I'm running strictly integral, you can see trying to control this, it's pretty unstable. If I turn it way down, way down, way down, I slow it down, but I really can't stabilize it. Turning it up by a factor of 10, it just, just goes berserk. But what does work nicely, let's try this, is if I turn proportional on, uh, it's almost stable, and you, you can see it, it's just ooching back and forth a little bit. And if I turn the integral off completely, it's quite stable. And let me walk across, I'm going to change the set point six tenths, five tenths, four tenths, and it just goes there and if you watch the movement, you know, because this hydraulic system integrates, you know, this valve is controlling flow, so until that error goes to zero, it's still going to output, output something. You can watch the movement, and it, let me turn the gain down a little bit, see if we can make it more obvious. As I change this set point, you can see it goes quickly and then slows down and comes to a stop. So the the proportional gain is behaving much like, much like the integral gain would be if we hadn't had the integration going on hydraulically, you know, because we have flow here and this, this is controlled by volume to get from flow to volume, essentially our hardware is integrating. So our straight proportional control uh, gets us right where we need to be and so there I'm lined up with the 12, I'll go this way almost the 10, come back, 12, and I, I get a little bit, <coughs> a little bit, of <coughs> excuse me, there's a little bit of hysteresis in here, uh, though it's it's slowly getting there, so it's not perfect, and if I, I want to turn on a little bit of integral, uh, just a teeny bit, gain down, I should be able to, now even then, see, it's, it's, it's overshooting and oscillating because it's essentially behaving like a double integral. So if I turn that off, let's turn on derivative gain. I'm changing the set point here every time you see it move. It's pretty stable and it creeps up. You get a pretty pretty quick movement at first. I can almost feel it thud every time I'm 
move this set point on my voltage. And if you look in, in the um, at the scope, you can see a spike every time it moves. You know, that kind of gives it a little bit of a kick. What I should do is move move my scope. I'm going to move the scope over here to the my reference voltage. Here I've got I've set up the scope so that the um, I have the reference voltage and the voltage from the sensor in here on top of each other. And as I change the reference voltage, you can see it's moving in steps and the position is catching up. No error. Uh, it's really nice control actually. And that's just the PD. If I turn the D off, it's actually a little bit it feels smoother because I'm not getting that kick every time I do one of these steps here. Now I'm just turning the voltage up and down. And let me set this back to my 5 volts. I'm getting real nice control. It's just straight up proportional. Um, I could try disturbing it. I don't know what's going to happen here. Not much. I can't move it. It's hydraulic. If I turn the integral back on, just a little bit of integral, here's some more. Woohoo! Shaking the whole thing. <laughs> well, here, let me go to just integral only. I should be able to get a. Well. It's, it's, the oscillations are getting bigger and bigger as it goes unstable. My reference voltage is not changing, but you can see the position changing here. So turn that off. It's just going to drift a little bit. Turn it on. Turn it up. Factor 10. And again, with the with the with the just integral, it's unstable. Throw in a little proportional and it helps helps stabilize it quite a bit. But still, you can still see it oscillating a little here. It's hard to see in this trace. But uh, this integral is definitely, even at a fairly low value, let's turn it down a little bit, It's still it's still wandering with that integral there. You know, I've turned it down so the movement is a lot slower, but it you know, so doing the winding and unwinding. So that's just, you know, playing with something, just seat of the pants, turn off the integral completely. There's proportional control. I can turn it up. Now I'm at uh, well I've turned it up by a factor of, of ten. I turn it up too high, the whole thing goes unstable. There I'm a factor of 10 from here, and let's see what happens when I change my set point. Okay, there's the high gain. And you can see how quickly it's following. It's following each step almost. And of course it's shaking the whole table because the gain is so high. But it's stable, you know. Stable and accurate. So that's the nice thing about uh, Proportional control of a uh, integrating system. Turn the gain down, and I get something closer to my first order response. Okay. Well, I think that's enough for today. Uh, like I said, I just had this thing up and running, and I thought we'd play with it and show you an example of how proportional and integral interact with a uh, integrating system like this. So, talk to you later.